Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 992 and today it is Football Manager Monday. Hopefully he's had a good weekend. We are diving right back into the Football Manager series with a game coming up versus Antwerp to get us in the qualifying round. But before we get there, have a wee look at this. Top goal scorers, Morelos and Defoe, both on five goals. Put that together. Beautiful. We've got Kenny getting the most assists. You've got best pass completion coming for Shaga. Most yellow cards. Everyone's in it. We're killing teams left, right, and centre. Let's try and keep this up. What does that actually say? Aston Villa managers keeping an eye on Tavernier. <laughs> Piss off, Dean. Rangers players named it. Nine of your players were selected in the Ladbrokes Premiership team of the week. <laughs> Things we love to see. Apart from the hole in the midfield there. Don't like that. Let's get by it. Let's go. Now, diving into the very first game of today's episode, it's actually going to be the second leg of the third place qualifying for the Europa League group stages. <gasps> that was a hard one to say. Anyway, we are even monies to win this one, which is actually pretty nice, considering we were against the odds in the last game, but we thumped them 4-0 away from home with one of our best performances, so let's see if we can continue that into this game. Now, regarding the team, we're not going to change too much from the way it ended in last week's episode. Katic is still struggling to get back to 100%. Ross McCrory is also still struggling, so the team looks very, very similar. The back four is going to remain the same. Davis and Jack is your two holding midfielders. The midfield three are going to remain the exact same. However, we are going to go with your man JD up top because he's been nothing short of lethal. So, we are actually dropping Alfredo Morelos for this game, so it's going to be interesting to see how both respond. Jermaine Defoe is lacking match fitness, thankfully, he's not lacking goals. Here we go, kick-off time, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we're not went defensive, we are continuing our attacking ways. Yes, we have those four away goals and a massive advantage, however, this is Ibrox. We want opposition teams to know the visited Ibrox. First chance of the game, had you with the ball. Centre circle, what can he do with it? Nice little ball, any Jermaine Defoe, what a tu Oh my god, I didn't think he was scoring that now. That's maybe slightly too fast, so we're going to fix that, but Jermaine Defoe, son, beautiful. No bad way to start the episode off. Had you getting the ball here, centre circle. Look at where Jamo Jermaine Defoe is. Or Jamon, as some people call him, including me. But look at that. Gonna go to new where the ball passes it over to Holanda. 39 minutes into the game, can we make it 2-0, boys? Barisic out wide, Jermaine Defoe, that's in. Oh my god, man! That would have been a scream dream. Oh, should be 2-0 up here. Should be 6-0 up in aggregate. Now, is there going to be any other chances before the half-time? I don't think there is. Nah. There we are. 1-0 up at half-time. It's not the goal galore that it was last week. So, well, we are dominating the opposition and that is what we like to see. It's been such a quiet second half. Is there honestly not going to be one highlight for the whole second half? Really? 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 Well, it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. Three points is three points. And, well, it is a two-legged tie, Craig, so there's no three points. But you get my drift, ladies and gentlemen. If this wasn't alive, I'd have loved to have took that take again, going to be honest. But Shagger <laughs> gets a clean sheet again. Let's keep that going. What the draw's been done. Aberdeen or Inverness will be at our opposition if we can get by Mullerwell in the Betfred Cup. Second round, I believe it is, that we're going into. Yeah, it is the second round of the Betfred Cup, and we are playing that Mullerwell game. So we know now if we get by Mullerwell, we are facing Aberdeen or Inverness. However, Andrew Dallas is the referee. So anything could happen in this match, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Literally anything. Now, regarding our overall team, we're not going to make, again, too many drastic changes with the squad. In fact, it's going to be pretty much the exact same, apart from we are then going to go with Morelos up top, because I want this battle between him and Jermaine Defoe to go back and forth. I want them fighting for that spot and scoring goals for the team. But this is the team versus Mullerwell. Let's get it on and see what we can do. Kick-off time. Here we go. By the way, if you don't mind hitting that like button as well, that'd be absolutely tremendous. We've hit over 500 likes every episode so far. Can we keep... That going, it honestly means a lot. It shows me these are enjoying the series as well. As Stephen Davis whips in one of these dipping corners. Gallagher gets away, however, it falls to Big Kimberry. Looked like a handball there. Mullerwell, oh no, it's a Mullerwell counter attack. Aaron we know he's got pace to burn. I think that's Barisic trying to keep up with him. He's doing well. Is this going to be a goal for Mullerwell? I'll land our good header there to Jackie Boy. Falls to Hadji. Hadji, phenomenal ball. Morelos, what a touch that is, son. Go on, you battle it. I was about to say you're battling Jermaine Defoe, but... Mary with the ball, halfway line. Tries to take on Power for think. What's that? Is that a foul? No way. That's a red card for Andy Dallas has sent him off for that. Well, I was actually surprised they didn't give Celtic a penalty for that, if I'm honest with you. But we carry on. 26 minute versus 10 men. Mullerwell, what can we do? Can we finally get the breakthrough in this game? Goes over to Kimberry on the left-hand side. Passes it to Barisic. We know that's a dangerous combination out there on the left. What's a great ball? And Ryan Kent! Brilliant! 
Sorry, lads, that was very loud. I, I felt that because I was feeling a wee bit nervous about this game. But Kenny gets his fifth goal of the season. Stephen Davis with an opportunity here. Let's kill this game right now. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny gets his set. Oh, wait, it's actually says it's Hadji that scored. I thought Kent got his second goal of the game. That looked like it was Kent's header. Wait, I'm going to have to watch this back now. Obviously, it doesn't matter who scores as long as we do. But Davis, another fantastic delivery in. Kent gets the header. Oh, Hadji's on the line. Take us into half time. It's very good to see Declan Gallagher. Very frustrated. Good to see. Good to see. Oh, no. Carroll with the ball. Campbell, back to Carroll. Don't let it be Deck after I've said that. He's this. Oh, it's long. He's headed over the bar, thankfully. That's good to see. We love that. That should take us into half tight. Oh, no. Tavernier's injured. Oh, man. That's a straight injury, Tay. It's not even an orange. Oh, shit. Ross McCrory's going to come in here. No nonsense. Fullback. Oh, that could be massive for our whole season. Oh, man. Oh, Christ. We've even got another highlight. I just want to get in half time without any more injuries here. Dreading that. Davis though with the ball. Pass it to Barisic. Barisic. Oh my god. Barisic with Katic's face. If you have a wee look up there. That's the data pack I downloaded for the game face. There's a glitch in it. Katic and Barisic has the exact same face. But it doesn't matter whose face he's wearing. He's scoring goals for fun. Ross McCrory takes a beautiful wee throw in. Alright. Replacing Tavernier's throw in ability. That's good to see. Davis get another wee assist there. Ooh. First highlight of the second half, 59th minute. Looks like it's going to be a Mullerwell attack. Depends how good the header is. It's absolutely dug meat. Falls to O'Hara. O'Hara with the ball. Passes it. We've got enough people back. That's got to be offside. Long. Long! Long ironically scores from a long ball. How's my defence got beat with that? One long ball to long. Christ's sake, could I have had any more of a warning? It's literally his name. Look at this. Look at the back line here. Oh, it's Holanda. Holanda kept them onside. Dreadful. Oh, wait a minute. We're getting a highlight straight back. Looking Barisic silence the crowd and kill the game. Dead! He can do! I don't care if he's wearing Katic's face. You've got Barisic's ability with Katic's face. Could you ask for any mayor? Oh, really? oh Jacko! Oh, go, go on, Jack. Get another goal for you, son. You got the foe there if you want to pass it. He's done neither. He's done neither. Good claims, Jack. If in doubt. If in doubt, mate. We, we don't mind that. We don't mind it. 90th minute, should be the game time. 4-1 up versus Mullerwell. We are through to the next round of the Betfred Cup. But, going to be honest, lads, all I keep thinking about is that Tavernier injury. I really, really want to see how long this is. This could drastically change the trajectory of the old CZ on, on, on. I want to give the boys, just tell them they've done well, though. Let's go passionate. I'm very happy with the way he's played. But, if you've done in mind, here we go. Here we go. Oh, two to three days. Oh my god, I'm sitting here sweating bullets for 23 days. Wait a minute, Barisic is injured. What did he get back? What's he injured for? He scored two goals. Right lads, we are diving into the next game and it's going to be another European adventure. And it's again Partizan Belgrade. A very, very good team this one. Both of us are in excellent form. However, as you see, we're actually odds on favourites to win this game. But they've been smashing teams left, right and centre, including Blackburn. As well, so it's going to be a very tricky game away from home again. However, their potential weakness is our formation, so let's try and exploit that in this game. Now, the squad that we're actually going to be using for this massive game again, there's not going to be too many drastic changes. We're going to test Tavernier, right? He's the Rangers captain. Is he able to pull up his socks and play to the 45th minute and lead the boys? We're going to find out. Unfortunately, Barisic is definitely out, so Halliday comes in. Midfield 2 is the exact same, and the rest of the team is pretty much the strongest team that I personally have on the books right now, and I'm going to trust JD up there to see if he can grab another goal. Big game, boys. Let's see how we get on. Oh, man, see when as soon as I press that button, the, the nerves hit me. The nerves hit me. The first, the, whoever gets the first highlight is so vital in this game. Eight minutes in. Oh, looks like it's them. Throw into them. Oh, no. Come on, boys. Come on, Halliday. Stand up to it, son. Stand up to it. Oh, Jacko's won the ball in the middle of the park. Give it to Hadji. Hadji. Hadji with the ball. Hit it, son. Hit. He's been... Oh, he's tried to be patient there. Should he have been a wee bit more greedy? Yes, it's ours. Steam days. You know how dangerous it is for corners that gets cleared out. However, can bury with the ball. What can he do? Can he pass it back to Davis? He can't. His head's up. Can he find the cross? Had you at the back post? Another away goal, man. Oh, God, man, I'm feeling it. Can bury. Can bury with the ball. Hadji. Davis. To right. Oh, this is beautiful here. What else can we do? What else can we do? Well, Hadji can do that, and Hadji is the only one that can go ahead and do that. God damn it, I love him. I love him more than the majority of my family. There, I've said it. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> that should take us in 
to half time, 2 0 up, unless we can try and grab a third man. This is frightening the way we are playing football right now. 2 0 up at half time versus Partizan. This is the trickiest test so far of the season, and we're battling them. Now, we are going to go ahead and make that change we talked about at the start of the game. Tavernier rolled his sleeves up, he played for the badge now. McCrory's in there to be a no nonsense S O B. McCrory with a throw in. And how dangerous this can be for us. Jackie boy, back to McCrory. Brilliant play here. Hadji with the ball. What can he do? Finds Kiberi. Oh my god, I thought that was straight in the goalkeeper. I thought that was straight in the goalkeeper, but he had Kiberi on his coom and he slapped it into the back of his own net. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's a Belgrade a highlight here. Come on, Rangers. Non silly, boys. Just keep it tight. Non silly. Oh no. That's. Oh my god, what a finish that as well. We knew it was coming eventually, lads. It's a very, very good footballing team. They're very uh, dangerous. 84 minute. Glen Kamara. Passes to Joe. There's two subs combined. That should have been the game and the tie. That should have been the game and the tie there for Jordan Jones. Ninth minute. Belgrade with the opportunity here to make this 3 2. They're going after Halliday. Every opportunity. Come on, boys. Stand up for it. Stand up for it. It's 3 2. Right, it's 3 2, boys. Oh, no. You are shitting me. You are shitting me. We've done Shagaroo. That'll do for you. 94th minute of the game. Oh, there's five minutes added on time. Shagaroo looks like he's trying to just kill the clock here. That's what we need for him. Kill it. Big pun up the park. I wouldn't really advise that, given it's up against Jermaine Defoe. However, he's alert. Glenn Kamara, the two substitutes combining once again. Can Jones make up for it? He'll... We still got it. Still got it. Don't panic. Passes in the hand, Halliday. Halliday with the opportunity. There's 400 guys in the box to aim for. Halliday finds any of them. Don't let them score like this. Don't let them. Oh my god, they're through. That's it. That's it. <gasps> oh! Shaga! The McGregor, oh my god, I can't even celebrate the McGregor moments here because we are destined to concede here. Good block there for Goldson. Go to be it. Go to be it. Oh, still another minute to go, man. Oh, I'm edging. I am absolutely mincing my knickknacks right now. This is a good test of the character of the boys, so it's never, it's not all going to be fives and six nils, right? What can we do here? They're pushing for it. Can we just hold on to the ball? No, we can't. Eh? Never mind, we can Jordan. Kamara with the ball. We just need a bit more composed heads. Let's see the leaders in the team step up here. Kent gets felt. Oh, no. Oh, another free on goal. How has this happened? Stand up. Stand up to it. Big boy block for Hollander and there's the game. 3-2 to Rangers. Jesus, man. Oh, that's as real as it gets now. That's as real as it gets now. And the heart's gone. The heart's, the ticker is away. Now, we are dropping into the very, very talented under-18s at Rangers Football Club to go ahead and call up Mr. Patterson, who we saw this year. Very, very talented fullback. We're not going to be risking Tavernier in the next game because it's too much a high risk. So, we're bringing in the young laddie because he's playing very well. Let's see if that can translate to the top division. Go on, wee man. Now, diving into the last game of the Football Manager series, we actually have a wee bit of tricky test here versus Hamlet. Now, their recent form does say inconsistent. However... It is always a tricky place to go on that plastic surface, especially with the changes we are being forced to make, and by God, it's John Beaton. Two matches ref this season, three red cards, 12 yellow cards. I mean, my three games into the season. This is what we're up against, man. So here is the team that's going to be against Hamill, and then Patterson is diving right into that right-back position to give Tavernier that rest we talked about. Andy Halliday is going to continue his place at left-back. Ross McCrory is coming back into the midfield to add a bit of bite. In the middle of the park, that's what we need when we're travelling up there. Now, Ryan Jacks unfortunately picked up a knock as well, so Joe Rebo is in. Kimberry, Hadji, Kent, and your man Jermaine Defoe is the guys up top. We trust them. Let's see if they can carry on. Big this. A lot of people missing for the first team here. Let's see what we can do. It's our highlight. Hadji with the ball. Whips it to the back post corner. Goldson! The big man! The big G! He's celebrating in an empty car park. He does what he wants, alright? He's finally got a heater on target and he's went ahead and celebrated in an empty car park. In fact, it's not even a heater. Connor Goldenings. I mean, Hamilton are fired up for this game, man. They must be playing some hell of a low block. Because it's still only 1-0. However, we are just sort of nullifying everything they're doing. You can see that. But young Nathan Patterson is struggling. That's a, that's a shame. Let's hopefully give the boys a wee bit of encouragement. In fact, I'm going to tell them not to get complacent. I'm going to try and go after them here. Let's test what he's got in his locker. Let's see if he sinks or swims, young Patterson. Now that he's been called out. Tyler, oh no, it's Hamilton as well. Oakley, up against Andy Halliday. Come on, Halliday, son. I need you here. Back to McGowan. Back to Oakley. Whoops, a dangerous ball in. Oh, falls to the... F oh my God, was that safe? No, it was over the bar. Over the bar. Goal kick. Goal kick. It looks like it's our highlight. Oh my God, Andy Halliday, man. What a disaster class here so far. 
Oh, big boy here there for Lander. False to Jordan Jones. It may be our highlight. Go on, Jordan. Brilliant. Go yourself, son. Southwood catches the ball. Unlucky. Unlucky. Seven, eight minutes. It looks like it's a Hamilton highlight. We need to stop the cross. Stop the cross. Oh, it's over the bar. First minute in the game. Andy Halliday with the ball. As long as he finds his man. As long as he finds his man, mate. He does. Jermaine Defoe out on the left-hand side. Not really happy about that, but what can he do? We know he's got class. Oh! Wait. Did he just throw that against his own bar? Jesus, I hit the post again. I'm sick to death of seeing the postman this weekend. Shout out to anyone who watched yesterday's live stream. I think that's going to be the game there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There we are. 1-0. Not the prettiest game of football, but that's what you need today. That separates the good and great teams. Going to places like that and being resolute. Young Parson as well pulled it back to a 6.9. Proud of the laddie. Proud of your man. Let's go ahead and tell him. You can what? Let's just give them a wee bit of praise. Well done, lads. A very nice victory. Well done, wee man. And that is where we're going to be ending this week's episode of the Football Manager Series. Thank you so much for all the support so far. Can we continue to do that in this week's episode? I look forward to seeing your comments and having a laugh with you guys down there in the comment section below. But as always, I've been CJ92. Thank you so much for watching. And bye-bye.